Hello guys, so I'm here with another transaction video. Just a continuation of what I've been posting in the past weeks. In case you don't have the basics of transaction, then you can follow up with the previous videos. They'll help you a lot. One thing I insist with transaction is that it's all about simplicity. You don't need to complicate your charts. You don't need to draw um 50 levels on your charts. You just need to be in a position to read price clearly based on the historical price movement. In the simplicity of transaction, we are interested with three things. The first one is the overall market direction, which i recommend using the daily time frame because it's a higher time frame and it shows long-term perspective of data the second thing we are interested in is the immediate price action behavior now it's possible to have a market that is in an overall downtrend but that doesn't guarantee that the immediate price action is behaving bearish so you could find the immediate price action to be either consolidating behaving bullish or bearish so depending with what the immediate price action is doing it will give us an indication of whether it's the best time to be trying to get into that market or whether we need to be a little bit more patient the final thing the price action should give you is the target so let's say we're expecting this market to drop the question is until what point do you want it to drop so that should be the target so starting with NZD USD for today, I'll start with the daily time frame. As you can see, we're having a series of lower highs and lower lows all the way from um, somewhere June 2014. So this has been going on for a number of years now. This market is clearly in a downtrend. There is nothing to doubt about that. This market being in a downtrend, I'm expecting it to continue dropping. But the question is, at what level am I targeting the drop to continue until we start having some significant retracement? That being said, I'll try to zoom in my chart a little bit and I'll mark this series of lower highs and lower lows to help us know the next potential target so you see we have we had this low here the market did a pullback currently it's playing around but assuming it should continue dropping which is our current prediction we're expecting this market to come and break this low how i mark my target levels is very simple it might not be easy to know the exact point that the market will reach but one thing for a fact is that this market will come and try to sell and break the previous low as you remember what i told you is that whenever the market will be trying to break the previous low there is a very high chance it's going to have consolidations here so here's the previous low i've just marked it so currently there are two levels that i'm expecting the market to drop to the first one is this market could continue dropping until this level from this level we could see a consolidation easily because it's a previous low and at previous lows you always have a decision point meaning this market will start to negotiate whether it's going to continue to drop or whether it's going to uh, eventually reverse that being being said it's very safe to say that you can expect this market to drop on the minimum to this low however there are two ways to look at it so what i've shown you here is from a long-term perspective so you need to have the long-term perspective and the immediate perspective so this long-term perspective sometimes could take a very long time before the market gets to this low so with the immediate perspective you want to focus on the most immediate lower highs and lower lows so the most immediate lower highs and lower lows look like this we had this impulsive move retracement we had this and now the market was retracing so we are expecting this market to potentially continue to drop so now let me delete this previous one first because we've already understood what its purpose was it was just to help us to know the overall target now looking at these immediate lower highs and lower lows the most recent low is here that being said i also come and mark the most recent low which is somewhere there so again i'll be expecting that this market should drop on the minimum to this low and then from this low there's a very high chance that it might still eventually go and hit this low but what we know is that we are likely to see a lot of consolidations here because it might likewise decide to retress and be bullish or it might just retress for a long time before it continues to sell eventually so now let me delete these arrows on my chart and make our chart very simple before you continue, let me introduce you to this platform called Fastbull, which I use to follow up with the market news. It has very many sections. As you can see, we have the economic calendar there. Inside the economic calendar, you can see the news that is coming this week. You can also check through the past data that has been released in case you are interested. You can go back in time using this calendar. Fastbull is a website that I recommend because it's very easy to customize. If you come under the screen, you'll realize you can select the news from the countries that you want to receive the data from. You can also customize your calendar to only receive high impact news which is something that i always do myself I always avoid trading whenever we have high impact news so you can come and select the three stars here so that you'll be receiving only high impact news when you are inside the economic calendar and you are someone who struggles to understand what this data even means you can just click on the news then it will open to your page in the page you'll find detailed explanation about that specific news and what it actually means maybe that will help you to have a clear understanding of what is going on in the markets an important thing to mention is that the 
they also have a mobile app which is a plus so whenever you are outside the house or somewhere where you can't access let's say your laptop or your pc it's always easy to be able to follow up with the economic calendar from your phone so you can download it on your phone making it very convenient the final thing i just mentioned is this 724 page which will be showing you all macroeconomic events across different markets in general so now this is not just about the forex market this is about even the futures and global macroeconomic news even political news so if you want to follow up on that you will find it here and that's it so let's get back to the video so on the daily time frame nzd usd i'll be looking for bearish setups and i'll be looking for it to drop until it hits either this level where i'll start to expect retracement so i won't be trying to sell at this level in the case it will eventually break this level i'll also continue selling until it hits this next level now what we've done here is that we've called out the market from a very long term direction so just from where the market is right now to the immediate low we are talking of about 300 pips to the other low we are talking of about 600 pips this will easily give you a lot of bearish intraday setups on the lower time frame now that's not all the final thing i want us to focus on is the immediate price action so if you look at price today where it is right now is it giving you a good sign to sell is it telling you to enter the market or is it telling you to wait keep in mind as we continue the analysis our direction is already bearish so i'm simply trying to look at it from the bearish perspective so is it ready for us to be trying to go short right now or should we be patient if you ask me we had this drop we had this big retracement and currently the market has been dropping so it's easy to argue that this market is just playing around right now and then it's going to continue to drop also if you go to the details there is this previous low here which we had a rejection now if you check carefully this low has been broken and the candlesticks have closed below it now i'm not shocked to see this market consolidating right now as i told you whenever the market hits a previous low it might break a little but there's a very high chance you're going to see consolidations there so for me i understand the reason why we have these consolidations is because the market hit this previous low the most interesting thing that i want us to cover is that this low was eventually broken so the fact that this low has been broken is a very very good bearish sign and also just to add on if you go to where this price reversed currently where the retracement started if you just mark that level keenly you will easily realize that this was a previous support resistance level so you see we had this price bounce there you try to scroll back we had another bounce off here that's the second one we have a third bounce off fourth one a fifth one number six number seven number eight so there are so many we can't cover all of them but this helps you to explain the reason why price got here and bounced off so this bounce off has been caused by two things number one price hit a previous support level which is a strong level number two price had just broken a previous mini low from the daily time frame based on all that i'm convinced that what is happening right now is a consolidation that is to be expected because of the current market level but is it convincing enough that this market is going to become bullish at least at the moment not yet so i'm still very very bearish on this market assuming you're a conservative trader who likes to be almost sure with their entries this is what you can do just be patient wait for this market to eventually come and drop below this support because keep in mind it hasn't broken the support at the moment so it came and bounce off bullish at the support so wait for the market to come and close below here on the daily time frame the minute we get a close that's your confirmation that this market is bearish then from there you'll expect something like a retracement then it can continue selling all the way down that's it for nzd usd i told you once you are clear that this market is bearish once you are clear that the current price action is giving you a sign to sell your work is very easy your work is just to find entries on the lower time frame using a few confluences that will confirm farm to you um when to enter the market in case you're wondering how to get the specific entries just check my video on support and resistance and it will show you the exact conferences that i use to get the market by now you should have seen that the price action analysis is very simple the overall trend has been identified the next thing is that we've already spotted the current price action behavior and made a decision on what we're expecting to happen on this market before we can be sure that it's about to sell and the final thing is that we've set our targets that in case this market is going to sell we know how far we want it to sell and that is this is the first level this is the second level so no complicating your entries finally i'm going to do one analysis on euro jpy this is a bullish analysis i just thought it's important to balance both sides everything is the opposite you zoom out this market you clearly see it's in a very very strong bullish trend no question about that in such a market you want to be taking bullish setups we just try to mark some immediate higher highs and higher lows for context so you can see we've been having that behavior so currently the market is buying so that being said it's almost very easy to 
predict that you'd expect this market to continue buying and maybe break this high but as we know whenever the market will be trying to break the previous high that is a zone where we expect to have consolidation so currently on euro jpy you can keep looking for bullish positions until it hits that high from where prices to that high we have about 220 230 pips which again you can scale in on the lower time frame and get some very very nice one to three one to four is to reward intraday setups the final thing we want to look at is the price action so what is the behavior of price telling us now if you look at euro jpy all the way from down here you will notice it's been buying you zoom in on that buy and you'll clearly see that is a very very strong level of support we've had a few touches that is one two three we've had a fourth one fifth one and a sixth one so that being said it makes much sense why price has been buying all the way from this level and as price has been going up it's been respecting more support resistance levels so just for clarity we had this first impulse it came and started behaving as if it wants to sell then it bounced all the way up now from where price bounced off again you'll see this is another level of support if you just zoom in you'll see that we had this price touch the first one was there we have number two number three number four a lot of weeks at that same same level that is number five number six so we have weeks both to the upside and to the downside but at that specific level that's even a better indication that this price is bullish because it was unable to break that level of support and it's been buying all the way until today i mean there are very many levels on your chart if you start marking them you'll never finish but i can just conclude with this final bounce off which has happened somewhere not so far as you can see price bounced off here somewhere in 7th february that's literally about a week to a week and a half ago so where price bounce off again is another level of support we have a few touches there more weeks there if you go all the way backwards you'll see very very many weeks and dejections at that level so again another support resistance level being respected so we have so many reasons to believe that this market overall is bullish that's why we've seen this impulsive move it comes back and retraces at a support continues to buy again it starts to act as if it's you know becoming bearish goes up the first time if I zoom in, you'll see it came back down another second time and it behaved the same way. It bounced off at the support level and is currently going all the way up and price has currently just closed above this mini high. So this is not the main high of the market. It's just the immediate high or I just call it a mini high sometimes as long as you know what that means because the main high is up here and price has currently come and closed above it on the daily time frame. Now, whenever you see these things happening on the higher time frame, it's a very, very good sign because the higher time frames show us the long term perspective. That being said, currently on euro jpy i'm expecting price to do something like a bounce off here it doesn't have to bounce off at this specific level uh, you could use other levels on the four hour but what matters is that you are clear on the direction then you just use the confluences that i've taught you from the support and resistance to get the bullish entries so once we have something like this this market should easily continue buying at least on the minimum until this high which we've seen is something close to 250 pips so that's it for euro jpy again the same same criteria has been used overall direction number one number two you want to look at the immediate uh, price action to, to see whether it is favoring a bullish entry or not number three we want to look at the target so assuming you are buying at what point we expect the market to buy it from there your work is very easy just look for the entries on the lower time frame so that's another simple price action breakdown done if you have any questions as usual feel free to ask in the comment section and let's see how these markets play out those of you who trade these markets i hope this makes your work simpler